Hey guys, The Daily Builder here today. Uh, I'm back again with a Lego tutorial. Uh, this is going to be how to make a small uh, working Lego ski ball machine. It's one of the smaller ones I've ever done. Uh, so it's going to be a tutorial today for you guys. Uh, and uh, let's just jump right into how, showing you how the machine works. So the way this machine works is very simple. Uh, it's not coin operated, but it is still very fun to play. Uh, as you can see that there is a win hole and a lose hole. Uh, sorry, I got that reversed. This is the lose hole. This is the win hole. You can tell it's color coded by the red and the green. And so, if you play the game and you drop the ball into the lose hole, it'll drop down into the machine, down through here, and you can collect it by rolling it back out. And you can do the same thing for the win hole, and when you get it in there, it'll come out and land in this side tray right here from out of the side. So it's a very simple machine. I'll show you guys how the inside looks. So, inside the machine, we have, this is the area where it drops down into the loose hole. Like right there, you can see that the ball dropped down and hit that ramp. Like this. And sometimes it gets stuck on the little ledge there, but that's okay. If you tilt the machine, it'll come right back out, and then it can just slide out the front here. If you want, you can put a little door in this area so that the ball doesn't just come sliding right out. Uh, but that's up to you. And then if the ball goes into the wind hole, it hits this ramp in the back, which then dispenses it right through the side of this machine and into the tray. So the next step I'm going to show you guys is how to build this thing. So uh, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start out this build with a 2x16 plate. Um, one of the tricks to making this build so small was to build it on a 5x16 uh, area, which is why the, the holes are centered in the middle and they're only one stud wide. So we're going to start out with a 2x16 plate, like I said, and we're going to attach a 1 by 8 plate um, of your choosing, sorry not 1 by 8, 1 by 10 plate of your choosing color that is, and you're going to place it on the bottom right of this brick right here, like this. Then we're going to grab a 2 by 4 plate and stick it on here, making a backwards L shape, like that, just on the bottom. Uh, this is just for building the base here. Uh, next up, we're going to line up some, some pieces. So essentially what you want to do is you want to grab enough 1 by whatever length pieces to fill up the entire 1 by 16 area. So we're going to want to, uh, so for instance, right here, I've got two 1 by 4 plates and a 1 by 6 plate, um, or a 1 by 8 plate, rather. And what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the side here, place one of our pieces there, like that. And we're just going to leave our other two in place so that they line up to the end like this. They are loose in place, but they're going to be placed in there. And we're going to grab a 4x6 plate and place that just on top right there. So it's, it has the other brick in place. And then you're going to get a 4x8 piece and do the same thing and attach it there. And then you're going to grab one more 2x16 plate, go to the underside here, and just place that up and along the side. So we have our two plate thick base like this. And if you did it right, you should have a 1x6 area of uh, stud right here that isn't level with the other side. Because we're going to put that's where we're going to put our winning tray. Uh, for that one, it's pretty simple. You're going to grab a 2x6 plate and place it on the side like this so that it overhangs. Then you're going to grab a 1x6 plate and a 2x6 plate, place one on top of the other, and then place it so that, uh, that's the wrong spot, so that it overhangs like this, so you're going to have two studs on the outside, it's going to be five studs wide, and this is going to be our base for the build. Next up, we're going to place down some tiles just for the inside of the machine so that the ball can roll smoothly, smoothly, sorry. We're going to get a 1x3 tile here, if you can see if my camera focuses, we're going to place it on the very end right there like that. We're going to get a 2x4 and a 1x4 tile and place them right there and there, like this. Uh, it doesn't matter the color because this part is hidden, so it will not matter what color you choose. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what color bricks you use at all because uh, the machine will still work just the same no matter what color you use. So we're going to place another 2x2 and a 1x2 tile there. And then we're going to get a 1x2 tile and place it upright right there, like that. And then get another 1x3 tile and place it like there, making a T shape. Next up, we're going to grab two 1x2 uh, plates and place them in the two little blank spots right there where we didn't place any tiles before. So we're going to have like this. Uh, next up, we're going to grab two headlight bricks, uh, which are just the little 1x1 bricks that have the side stud and the little overhang in them. They're quite common. 
Uh, you can also use one by one bricks with side studs on them or anything else that has a side stud on it, so long as it's one by one. Uh, and you're going to place a little one by one uh, slope onto the side like that, pointing off in one direction. So this is the top down view. It's going to look like this. So next up, we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to reverse it so that we have two uh, blocks that have triangles facing in the opposite direction. And we're going to place them on these two studs right here so that they're facing inward, so that they channel any ball that hits the ramp and they channel it straight down the center so it goes down the middle here, like this. So we're going to place those two bricks like that. And as you can see, the arrows are sloping inwards like this and inwards like that. And then we're going to grab two regular one by one bricks, attach them to the back side there, and then we're going to get a two by three brick and place it on top of there so it makes like a small tunnel through there. And that's just because this, this is going to help support the board, so we had to place something there to let that happen. And also, it'll channel the ball straight right through. Okay, so the next step is going to be to build a little side tray where we will be able to collect our winning ball from. So I use some transparent blocks. You don't have to. You can use any blocks you want. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to place a 1x2 transparent right there, or it doesn't have to be transparent. And I'm going to place a few of them so that they make a shape like this around the edge. Like that. I'm going to grab a 1x1. One one. My ch color choice was green. And place it right on the end there. And then get a little one by one slope and place it like this so that it faces back. I don't know if you guys can see there. We got the slope and it faces down towards the back side of here. And we're going to one by four tile and place that in the empty space right there so that the ball can roll smoothly. We're going to grab a two by three slope as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be a two by three slope, could be a two by one and a uh, two by two, or sorry, two by three and a one by three. Not a 3x3. Three three. This is a 3x3 three three slope, and we're going to place it in this back area right here. You should have three studs remaining on the back here, and this one's just going to sit uh, and, and push any balls through our little gateway we made here. Next, we're going to grab a 2x4 slope, right like this, and we're going to place it so that it connects up and aligns with our little gateway right here, um, with our little slope right here, and as well as the little runway right there as well. So this is what we've got so far, and now we're going to start building up the sides of the machine a little bit. So the next few steps of the machine are quite simple. Uh, just grab a 1x6 brick, place it on the side there, like this. Uh, grab a 1x1 one one and place that right behind it, like so. Let me zoom in a bit for you guys so you can see a bit better. Like this. And I'm going to grab a 1x6 and slot it into that area right there, like so. Uh, the next step is to grab just a 1x4 brick and place it along the back. And then I have a big, long 1x16 brick that I'm going to place just down the side here. It should fill up the entire area because the entire base plate should be 16 studs long, like that. All right, so as we continue, uh, Coloring is totally up to you. Uh, I've just used some random colors that I had lying around. I've got a one by one brick and I'm gonna place it on the very end right there. Like that. I'm going to grab a one by three brick and two one by four bricks and place it right there and there and there. So we have this. Uh, then what I decided to do is make a little archway and put that over the top there because I thought it looked a little bit nicer. Um, you don't have to do that, you can just make it a normal 1x4 brick, as long as the, the ball fits through the hole, you should be fine. Uh, so I grab another 1x4, place it along the back side right there, grab a second 1x4 and place it along the top of this brown slope right here, so that we have this going through, and I have a 2x2 slope, which I'm just going to put on the back side right here to help uh, slide the ball down into the channel. Then for the other side, I do the same thing. I have the 1x4 brick, which I place along the side here, another 1x4 brick, a 1x3 right here, and another 1x1. One one. There we go. All right, so for the next step, we're going to set this guy aside for now. And I'm going to zoom in a bit closer here, so you guys can see. And we're going to build a bit of a lip for the back of the, uh, or sorry, for the front of the machine, rather. 
So we're going to grab a 2x2 two two and a 2x3 plate. And we're just going to pop those down and put them together. We're going to grab a 1x2 plate and put that on the far side of one of these, like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now on this side, I just have two 1x1s. One you can also do that. I just did that to show you guys uh, the two options you have. Just as long as it fills up the space, it'll work. So we're going to have this, like that. These two separate pieces, which we're going to connect in a minute here. Uh, right now, actually, we're going to grab a 1x3 brick and place that along here so that this is all connected into one piece. And we're going to get another 1x2 plate, like this guy right here. Put it on the side to secure it more in place. And do the same thing on the other side right here. And if you want, uh, I decided to also put some tiles on it because I thought it looked nicer. I have some little 1x1 one one, uh, cheese slopes that you could put on the side there in transparent orange, but you can choose whatever color you want, of course. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy right on the end of the machine right here. So it frames the archway. Like that. Alright, so we're going to do a little bit more building up of the back of the machine. Right here I've got a 1x12 brick. And I'm just going to place that along the back side right there. Like that. I'm going to grab a little corner piece right here, place that along the back right there. And again, as long as you're building up using whatever bricks you have available to you, it'll work. Uh, I'm just showing you what I use, but you can of course use any sized bricks you want. I'm going to place a 1x2 there, and a 1x6 right there, and then a 1x8 right here. And that should fill up this layer of bricks, and you should find that it is flush with the edge of our little uh, archway piece that we popped onto the back here, or onto the front of the machine earlier. Like that. So we should have this very flat looking machine right now. Like that. Then we're going to grab two 1x8s and place them right here and right here. Behind our two little tiles, or our two little slopes that we have right there. And then we're going to grab a 1x4 again. I did a color shift here, but you can choose and customize this however you want to. A 1x4 and a 1x2 right here, like that. Then a 1x2 right there, a 1x1 right there, and another 1x2 right there. Then I'm going to get another 1x2, then mirror it on the other side like that, and get another 1x4 and place it along the side here, so that's another layer built up. All right, next up, we're going to grab a 1x3, place it on the back. We're going to get two 1x2s, place it right there and there. Same thing on the other side, two 1x2s, and place them right there and there. Two more 1x2s right here and there. So we have this. And yet again, the same thing on the other side. There and there. Then we're going to grab a 1x3 and a 1x2 and place them on the back like that. So you can see we're starting to slope up into the corner of the machine. We're going to grab a 1x4 and place it right there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Like that. Then we're going to grab a 1x2, place it on the edge there. Place a 1x2 connecting it from the edge as well so that we have like a little slope here, a little staircase of one stud, one stud, one stud. And we're going to get a little 1x1 one one brick and place it right after it, right there. Same thing on the other side, 1x2, one 1x2. Two, one two. Should be keeping it nice and symmetrical here. And a 1x1 one one right there as well. So we should have this right here. As you can see, the machine is kind of getting built up from the side. Uh, this last little part here for the building up side of the machine is, again, up to your stylistic choice. I decided to use some sloped pieces, but as so long as you have something that overhangs the board, you're going to be fine. So I have a 1x3 there on the two sides right there, and a final one on the back. Now, what I did, again, is what I chose to do, uh, and you can do whatever you want with it. But what I did is I got these little slope pieces that I had that also have bricks connecting to them. I know that these pieces are pretty rare, so you don't have to use them. You can just use whatever bricks fill up the same amount of space. And you're going to put that right there on the two little back parts of the machine, like so. You're going to leave the little area back here free, though. Next up is I just grabbed a bunch of little 1x2, one by two, or 1x1x2 one by one by uh, arch pieces, like these ones. I have five of them. Uh, in a few colors, and I just place the, the black ones on the corners right here. 
so that you get kind of the sloped look, and then the rest I just placed all along the edge here. And this just makes it so that if the ball gets, oopsies, if the ball gets flung too high, it won't fly off into the sky. It'll just hit the underside of this and fall back onto the board. Like that. And then I just tiled up the edges right there and right there. And I tiled up the center as well. So that should complete this part of the tutorial, uh, just for the, the outside shell. Uh, the next step we're going to do is the the board pieces. Uh, so these are pretty ridiculously simple. Uh, all we need to do is grab a 1x3 plate, pop that down there, uh, grab this little tall piece. You can use a stack of 1x1 pieces, but this is actually one solid piece, so you can do that as well if you have it. I'm going to place that just on the side here. So again, we have an L shape. I'm going to do the same thing. This one is just a stack of 2x2s. It's five 2x2 bricks. Um, but I, I used two of these double tall bricks and then one of these 1x2s. But again, you can use it so long as it stacks up to the same height. You can use those bricks like that. And then a 1x3 tile and just place it on top of that to sandwich it in place. We're going to grab our board and we're just going to slide that into place right here. So that you should see that it comes to the middle here and rests on that block we placed down there before. The next step is the board, or the, sorry, the uh, the whole board, which is very simple as well. We're going to grab a 1x3 brick. Uh, I get I like to color code these differently so you know which one you're supposed to get the ball into. Uh, I grab two 1x1s right here. And you want to make sure that you have a ball that will fit through a 1x1 stud hole. Um, I have a bunch of ball bearings here that I use, the small metal balls like these, and it'll fit right through the hole, as you can see, and go straight through, which is what you want, because otherwise this machine won't work. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get a 1x3 and place that on top there like that. 1x1 one one right there, another 1x1, one one, and a 1x3, and you put a tile on top of it as well. It doesn't have to have a sticker on it, of course. It's just the one that I had lying around. Place it like that, and you should be all finished. You just slide it there so it's slanted up, and it touches the back of the machine here nice and flat and you just get a ball and you're ready to play I lost uh, thank you guys for watching um, if you'd like me to make a video explaining some questions or the reason why I was away for so long please let me know in the comments uh, I'll try to answer as many comments I can or any uh, any questions or anything that you guys have in the comments just leave them down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video Bye-bye.